Hey guys, Chris from Provo Beast Audio Installation, and today we're doing a speaker replacement in this 2005 Hyundai Tiburon. Um, in this install, we're going to show you how to remove the door speaker um, out of the factory door panel here and upgrade it with an aftermarket 6.5 inch coaxial. Now, as we get started here, first and foremost, this panel needs to come off. Now, depending on your um, trim level, Tiburon, you may have a tweeter and a speaker. Um, you may just have a mid-range here in the door, so it just depends on what configuration you're going for. We do have the, the component factory set up. However, in our install today, we're just going to be replacing the mid-range down below. So first thing that we need to do in this removal is pull out these Phillips screws. There's two here. There's a Phillips screw here. There's some behind this panel. Um, and there's none on the bottom. However, there are some here on the right hand side that we can't miss. Now I have a Phillips screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, and a panel tool is the tools I'm using here today. Now with our panel tool, the first thing is we do need to pop out our tweeter here. And usually it's just held on with pressure. You just kind of work it loose here. You don't want to break the clips. And then once that's out, we can go ahead and unplug the harness. Okay, there we go. So that gets that out of the way. Now using our Phillips, we're gonna go ahead and remove the screw out of the handle and the two here by the seal. Okay, so those are the two screws right there. Now you have a little flathead screwdriver and you're gonna notice here on the right hand side, there's a place for a screwdriver. What we're gonna do is just kind of carefully work this cover on off because there's gonna be a screw behind it. There it goes, just like so. And once that's out of the way, you're going to have a screw here, screw here, and one down here at the bottom as well. With that out of the way, we can pull our trim up and around the door handle. Okay. Now, finally here, we have three screws on the right-hand side. Now, with that flathead screwdriver, just work this flathead screwdriver in to pull out these little, little teeny covers off. All three, don't lose them because we'll want to put them back in. And then it's going to expose three Phillips. Go ahead and remove those. All right, so with those screws out of the way, at this point, the panel just comes on off. Now it's held with clips. You usually start in the bottom corner, give it a pull, and it should come nice and loose. Go ahead and lift. And usually on the back, you're going to have a couple of harnesses to disconnect here. So we're going to disconnect our main, main harness. Okay. With that all unclipped there, now you saw this did pop out. It is just held on with clips. So if you want to pop that out so you can disconnect the harness, that may be a little bit easier. Get that out of the way. Now, if any clips do fall out of the door, we can put them right back in the panel before we reattach it. Okay, so at this point, we're left with the factory speaker here. Four Phillips screws are holding the speaker. Disconnect the harness. Okay, now at this point, with the speaker removed, we're good to head over to the bench and show you the parts that we need to replace our factory bench speaker. And the speakers that we've chosen to go with for our replacements are these Rockford Fosgate R1s. It's the R165X3. Now these are coaxial, meaning the tweeter is built into the mid-range itself. Now, it's not just a direct plug and play here with our bracket. We actually have to pull the bracket off of our factory speaker and mount it on our aftermarket one. And to make sure the wiring is accommodated in the door, we're going with these Metro wiring harness adapters. These are the 72-8104. These are commonly used in Toyotas, but they work for this Hyundai as well. And what these do is they'll plug into the terminals here on the back. And then this end will plug right into our speaker plug, which is pretty nice. So first things first, we need to go ahead and pull the bracket off the factory speaker. And then from that point, get it all mounted up to our brand new one here. Now keep in mind, if you did not want to purchase wiring harness adapters, you could, in theory, use these by desoldering these two 
and resoldering it to the new speaker as well and using this factory adapter. Totally up to you. For our application here today, we're just gonna go ahead and use our wiring harness adapter just cause we know it works great. So what we're gonna do with this plug is just actually cut it off, get it out of the way. Okay, so we are done with our factory speaker. Let's go ahead and put that off to the side. We're left with our bracket from the factory speaker. So what we're gonna do is just get this all lined up. Now we'll probably go back over to the door just so we can get the orientation of the logo and everything right based on where these mount up. Um, and then we'll come back here and screw the speaker to this bracket. And uh, then we'll get our wiring harness adapter plugged on the back. All right, so we figured out it's about right there is the orientation we want. Now, our Rockford Fosgate speaker package actually came with screws, but they are much longer than we need. So what we're gonna do is we found these shorter guys and we're gonna screw all four of these into the plastic bracket. All right, so we went ahead and got this mounted in the speaker bracket. Now, if you do go back over to the door and try to mount this right away, you may notice that these screws sticking out could get in the way of the speaker fully seating to the door. So if you need, go ahead and trim off the end here. We're gonna use a little saw and break off the rest just so these are nice and flush. Okay, so at this point we went ahead and got everything mounted. We just trimmed off the back of the screws here just so the speaker will totally seat and seal on the panel itself. Now, before we head over to the car, we need to get our wiring harness adapter. The cool thing is this is keyed for positive and negative. So there's no guesswork here. So we'll go ahead and connect that up and get the wiring harness all ready. Okay, got those plugged in. Now what I like to do just to protect the wiring a little bit more in the door, is use some Tessa tape and just wrap our harness here. Okay, at this point, speaker is all ready. Let's head back to the door and get it all reinstalled. All right, we're back here at the car. Now, we don't necessarily want to just stick it in because it's going to pinch our wiring harness. Now we do have this nice little hole for axis here, and this is our wiring harness. The nice thing is this actually fits in there. What we're gonna do is plug our speaker into that harness, but utilizing that factory access. So what we're doing inside the door is these essentially just clip in just like so. Okay, that all plugged in. Make sure everything clears the window. And since we oriented our logo here, we know it goes this way, sits nice and flush. Put the nice seal up and around the speaker itself. Okay, at this point, it's probably good to do a test before you reassemble the door panel. So everything's working properly. Let's go ahead now and reassemble the door panel. Okay, that's about it for this install. If you have any questions on what we did here, go ahead and post a comment below. If you're wondering how you are to do the driver's side, it's exact same process, just a mirror image. Like what you saw, go ahead and hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, we post great content on the channel here all the time, and uh, we will see you in the next video.